Hello, my name is Wendy Clark Getson. I'm the Tribal Transportation Program Manager for Jamestown Skyland Tribe. I'd like to have you join me on a presentation for sustaining CTS Route 50, the route that goes from Squim to Blinn. This is a grant that is requesting operating funds from Washington State Department of Transportation's Public Transportation Division Consolidated Grant Process. Um, the background on this project is that it's been around since 2010. Uh, Clown Transit has continuously provided the service interlined with their other East County routes, Squim and Diamond Point. Um, we have the, the route designed and scheduled around the tribal government workers schedule and the social service offices and the dental office, which is located in Blinn. A small shuttle bus makes regular stops along the Squim Washington Avenue, Squim's Main Street, and on US 101, and the route originates at Squim Transit Center. The route makes connections with the Squim Regional Port Angeles commuter bus and has connections with the paratransit. Clown Transit calls it Connect. This route has been going on since 2010 and it takes about uh, 15 minutes to get there. Um, it's not necessarily an express route, but it goes there quite directly and can compete with a car. This is the map of where it begins in the Civic Center of Squim, right next door to the community center between Cedar and Spruce. And the bus, as I said, goes down the main street, enters Highway 101, and then turns around and returns back to Squim uh, after it drops off at the Jamestown campus route. And it makes other stops along the way. As you can see in this schedule, it's, it gets people to work by eight and it takes them home at five with making stops along the way to pick up the Cedar, Seven Cedars Resort guests. The Jamestown Squalum Tribe is acquiring property throughout the East County area, mainly in Blinn. This is a small snapshot of an area that includes the Seven Cedars Resort, the Longhouse Market, the tribal government area, the social service buildings on the hill, and down Zicardo Road where we have more facilities. The uh, legend is indicating that there's a combination of ownership between fee, reservation, and U.S. trust lands. There is an ongoing fee to trust land process where the yellow parcels will turn to green over time. But as you can see, there are future development opportunities for Jamestown Sklallam Tribe, and this bus line is essential for maintaining access and a less car dependent community. Over the years, and this is only recently, the, the ridership levels have been pretty com constant and the pandemic has not really injured the service. Um, and I wanted to pay tribute to Annette Nessie, who helped put this route together back in 2010. So who is riding Route 50? We have a lot of activities in Blinn, and I've listed um, the people that I have met on the bus, um, but uh, I need to identify that not all uh, Seven Cedars Resort employees have access to this bus. It is mainly um, derived and tuned in tune with the tribal government, dental patients, the elders lounge, the art gallery, the food bank, um, uh, stopping at a low income motel on the way um, for Squim Lodge. And for the last one I'd like to bring up is the Olympic Discovery Trail. For those people who would like to come out and get a start on the ODT across Miller Peninsula. This is a great route with bus bike racks to bring your bike to the Jamestown campus and start riding east. Um, we have um, the, uh, we have, since we've had this grant, we have met our actuals and our budgeted 
for the grants that we've received from WashDOT. In the future, though, we're going to make a small modification to the alignment and we'll be able to extend the route for an extra mile, changing the projections, increasing riders, slightly modifying the revenue miles and revenue hours, and continuing to purchase these rides from Clallam Transit, who will be able to ride Route 50 in the future. The new development that we have around Sophus Road. We have, um, hopefully we'll have the Longhouse Market employees, the Cedar Greens employees, the Justice Center, and the new library that is being built currently. We have seen over the years some fine tuning and some upgrades to the service. Most recently, Clown Transit has invested in new 30 foot Gillig buses. They ride beautifully, uh, they're more sturdy, and they are um, helpful in accommodating more passengers, more spread out for, for COVID reasons. We have uh, a new bus shelter. We have a new road. Uh, we're calling it Sophus, Correa, Loop Road. It has several names, but I just called it Loop Road for, the, for simplicity. Jamestown Glallam has increased their incentives to employees to purchase monthly passes. We have uh, changed this route to be fare free for all badged employees, citizens, and tribal employees. And in the near future, when Clallam Transit um, develops their micro transit program, there'll be more accessibility to more transit facilities. So the request that we have for WashDOT for a four-year program is to start off with $277,000 plus dollars and increase in the next biennium to $300,000. That's due to uh, actual costs and using inflation factors uh, to acknowledge that Clown Transit's labor rates, fuel prices, and other incidentals will be going up. We'll be matching this grant with a federal section 5311 TTP funds for total costs, as you see below. This, this funds could, we are, we are expressing to the state that we would like to receive state funds, and these are the funds that we have continually, uh, the type of funds that we have received in the past bienniums. So this concludes the presentation. And I hope that this was meaningful to learn some more about the CTS Route 50 and how it produces local service that, that brings people to the east end of the county. Thank you.